So recently I found a setup that ensures you have a good angle for the new early seed method that Glower found. If you're not familiar with this new method, there's a link in the description to Glower's video on it. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with this. Uh, I have an input display in the bottom left. Uh, it shows the control stick position. The number we're going to be paying attention to is the one on the left. So for this trick, you want your angle to be about 5. I found that this angle works best. Um, as your angle gets bigger, the window for the left press gets much harder uh, and sometimes impossible. So basically how the setup works is we're going to turn Mario to the right and then hold up and start moving to the left. Um, slowly to the left. You can see that Mario is walking to the left but still facing right. Um, when Mario turns to the left, your angle is 6 or 7. You can see there, as soon as I hit 7, Mario turned to the left. So basically how we can use this is turn Mario to the right, start moving up, and then once you see Mario turn to the left, you can adjust your angle just slightly backwards, and you know that you have an angle of like 6 or 5. 7 will work too. But yeah, uh, that's the setup. Makes this trick so much easier when you can ensure your angle is in that like five to seven range. Uh, you can also you can also um, have have Mario turn to the right and then move up and just wait till you see wait till you see Mario moving to the left, but still facing right. Um, you know that your angle has not passed six or seven. Uh, which if you see Mario moving, you know it's like greater than one. <laughs> so this is also probably a good angle. As you can see, it worked very easily. So yeah, that's basically how you can use the setup. I personally use the former method, but I know both of these work. Um, shout out to Morpheus who helped figure out how to, how to kind of use this visual setup. And uh, best of luck learning early seed.